Call of Duty is your addiction, leave a like and subscribe to Friction. Also, if you like the music, check out Berline Tunes. His link is in the description below. Thank you for your support and enjoy the video. What's up guys and welcome to Call of Duty with Friction. Today's topic for the commentary is sniping or sniping analysis inside or for the beta of World War II. Fitting to the topic of course is a sniping gameplay in the background. Um, I go off in, on Gibraltar with the Commonwealth using the four times zoom, the four times optic and rapid fire. Um, in, this, in this commentary I will discuss um, the snappers, the ones that are available in the beta, if they're good, they're bad, what they're about, the attachments you can put on the snipers, the perks that I believe fit or are useful for sniping, well with perks I mean the division training, then also the division itself, so the mountain division which is predestined for sniping, um, what I think about of course, the good, the bad, um, also, I'll talk about the maps, snapping on the maps, if it's possible or not, and how I feel about it. Um, then, of course, I'll talk about the movement speed in the game versus the sensitivity that you need to have for sniping. Um, I'm going to be talking about what I play, what I believe is good, and obviously it's um, it's give and take and some other things. And then also at the end, I'll just talk about pistols, what I think about pistols, because snapping, you can obviously use a, a division skill that allows you to have two primary weapons, but I'm a pistol guy, so I want, I want to get pistols, so I'll give you pistol, uh, the opinion of the pistols as well. Uh, and then finally, if I think it's uh, it's worthwhile for me to keep going sniping for competitive, for, for competitive play as well. So starting off with the sniper itself. The first sniper we were allowed to play, or we were able to play in the beta, was the Carabin, which is similar to a marksman rifle, so it's a semi-automatic uh, sniper, which is not a one-shot kill, only to the head. So therefore, to be honest, I didn't try it that much. I played it once to see what it is. Um, not that very good, so I never played that one. Um, and the other one, the really the good one, is called Commonwealth, and it's a bolt action sniper, and it's a one-shot kill above the chest. To add to that, we were able to use five attachments: the four times optic zoom, which, as it says, you get a four times optic zoom. I'm using it right now in the gameplay. The ballistic CPU. Or ability calibration, which gives you less um, less idle sway when you aim down sights. Then you get the FMJ, higher damage through the walls, extended mags, more magazine, more bullets inside your clip, and also rapid fire, which I'm using in this gameplay as well. Um, to be sure, honest, talking about the attachments we had in this game, I feel that they're not very many, to be honest. I think they could, they could have given us another optic or something like an ACOC or I don't know, something like that. I'm not very fond of. Um, any of the scopes, so then the reg scope is pretty poor, and this one is not ideal as well. Um, other than that, we don't have many attachments at all. But to be honest, when you look back at all the other Call of Duties, we gave, we got lots of attachments for snappers, and we never used any of them. So um, yeah, and, and back to what's really useful. Obviously, rapid fire is crucial. So snapping without rapid fire is probably the dumbest thing you could do. Um, extended mag is not necessary for this guy at least because you get ten shots in your magazine. Um, FMJ is quite useful in situations, especially on this map, because these walls you can shoot through them. In addition, we were given three division training or three perks that I feel are useful to sniping. The first one, which is quite obvious, is Lookout. It's like Marksman, it allows you to see the names of your opponents on further distance away, which is quite useful in sniping. The next one is called Rifleman, which is essentially Overkill. Um, it is quite useful, I've seen lots of people play with Overkill when sniping. I'm not a big fan of it, especially because in competitive you don't, you're not allowed to play that anyway, so there's no real point of me even playing with Overkill. Um, and the last one is Hustle, which reloads your weapon faster and reloads while sprinting. So I don't think that's exactly very crucial, but it's, a, it's not a bad perk to use when sniping. Um, I obviously play with Lookout, so I think that's probably the only one that really gives us value. Also, Lookout allows you to see the, the minimap at the top more detail, there's more a and more zoom, uh, less zoom on the map so you can see more accurately where opponents are, um, which is quite useful as well when sniping. But it's more I think that's more useful for run and gunning or something else than for sniper, but yeah, it's another benefit. The next stage of the division, the, actually the first stage, is choosing your division. Um, and for this one, obviously Mountain is the one to go for. Mountain uh, allows you, at the beginning, which, which is the sniper shootout, training from the mountain division, it allows you to get aim assist when, when holding your breath while aiming down sights. Um, that is obviously very good. Uh, aim assist, especially with snipers, is not very there. It's not, there's not much there, so while aiming down sights and holding your breath, it is quite useful. 
especially for hard scopers. I'm not really a hard scoper in that way. Obviously, I hard scope as well, but I mean, I'm not the guy who holds breath a lot. I'm more the guy who just drags and pulls things across. Um, so yeah, but when you move on, you give up your division, you get the ghost perk essentially. So the next level, stage two of the mountain division, gives you um, non see. You're not seen through re from recons from the opponents, which is very useful. Then it gives you blind eyes, so you're not seen by player controlled score streaks. And finally, it gives you ninja or dead silence, where your movement is quiet. So obviously, this 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 division is very much used by lots of other guns. So it might be useful for sniping, but it's more useful even for rod and gunning when you're dead silence and nobody can hear anything. So that's pretty useful. Um, so yeah, the next part I want to talk about away from that is the maps. So what I think if on these maps, the three maps we've played, so Gibraltar, Point to Hawk and Adele Forest, or Ardell's Forest, if you can actually snipe on them. And straight out on the sea, yes you can. In every single map, especially Gibraltar, you have lots of long lines of sight. Okay, on Point to Hawk it's quite close quarter, but even then there are there are positions where a long range gun is very useful. So it's not like you could snipe well on Point to Hawk, but it works as well, because there are long lines of sight. Um, Gibraltar is very good for snapping, so this gameplay is on Gibraltar. And Ard Ardell's Forest, or I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest, um, you can snap really well as well. So on all sides, in the middle, at the rock side, and even on the um, side with the bunkers and the miniguns. The mini it's very useful to snipe. So, to summarize that, you can definitely, definitely snipe in this game. Okay, all three maps, although all three maps are not sniper made maps, you can definitely snap on them and they are always long lines of sight you can snap at. Um, so that's definitely something I can recommend for anybody who wants to try out. It's worth it, definitely. Um, now, one of the big topics I want to talk about is the movement speed versus the sensitivity. This game has a very, very slow movement speed. Therefore, higher sensitivity for sniping is crucial. Um, I only play on 7 and 7s, which is basically 10 and 10 out of 20, or 7 out of 14. Um, but real snipers need to go at, at, at least 10, so I definitely recommend using that. Um, there's no chance you'll do lots of 180s or something with a different scope. We have eyes in the sky. Another central part to sniping is, in my opinion, the pistols. And to be very honest, both pistols in this game are pretty bad. We have the PO8, which at least lets you trigger fire as fast as you can trigger, but it's pretty poor. And the M1 911 feels just off and it just isn't that good. But to answer the most important question for me, can I snipe in competitive gaming? Yes, I definitely can and I definitely will. This is going to be one of the funnest sniping games in a long time. So I hope you stay tuned, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like and subscribe. This is your Friction. Peace out.